Good morning, traders. Well, U.S. equities continue to climb in a, a broad rally in Wednesday session ahead of uh, Thanksgiving holiday break. Uh, Dow Jones was up over 200 points and hitting its highest level since mid-August. In FX markets, uh, the U.S. dollar was broadly stronger than, after better than expected. Uh, employment data gave it a bit of a boost. Uh, this saw the dollar yen resume its upward momentum back above 149. A further headwind for the yen was commentary from Japanese PM Kishida, who said that the BOJ's monetary policy is not aimed at guiding FX in a certain way. Aussie dollar, US dollar continued to weaken after finding uh, resistance to that 200-day moving average in Tuesday's session around 65.90. Uh, it did find some support at the top of its recent range down there at 65.24, uh, currently trading between those levels. So there'll be two key levels to watch going forward for the rest of the week. Uh, the Aussie was also helped somewhat by some hawkish commentary by Governor Bullock uh, in comments about inflation and the strength of the Australian economy. Uh, in commodities, uh, crude oil had a really a real roller coaster session uh, overnight, uh, first dumping around 4% on news that OPEC Plus had postponed their November meeting, then uh, retracing after analysts suggested that the meeting delay uh, will help create cohesion around collective cuts. Uh, gold dipped again um, after testing those October highs uh, around 2006, 2009. Uh, XAU USD dropping below 2,000 US dollars an ounce uh, and gave, giving up pretty much uh, half of Tuesday's gain. So ahead later today, uh, a slew of PMI figures out of Europe and the UK.